Yeah, good morning sa inyo mga kasambahay. It's my turn! Usapang pangkalusugan. <laughs> At hypertension! Rina ang ating magiging talakayan ngayong umaga. Kaya para po dun sa maiinit ang ulo, tatanungin natin yan kung kasama ba yan sa symptoms. Yung palaging mainit ang ulo. Si Derek ba to? Hindi, <laughs> joke lang! <laughs> Okay, hypertension po dahil internal medicine awareness month po ngayong buwan ng uh, February, kaya pag-uusapan po natin yan. At ang mga kasama po natin mga kasabahay ay isang internal medicine doctor, cardiology vascular specialist, diplomat po siya ng Cardiology Philippine College of Cardiology Specialty Board of Adult Cardiology. Ayan, fellow po siya ng Philippine College of Physician, diplomat po at certified ng Philippine Specialty Board of Internal Medicine. Nag-complete po siya ng kanyang training program for adult cardiology dyan po sa Philippine Heart Center. At nag-complete po siya ng kanyang residency residency training program for internal medicine. Pinagtatawa na ako ni Doc. At Veterans Memorial Medical Center, Doctor of Medicine, University of Santo Tomas. Eto na po! Napakahaba ng ating oh, introduction. No? Walang iba Dr. Norberto Suanyo Jr. Doc, good Hi, morning. Good morning, Lynn. How can I call you? Nor J na lang. Nor J na lang. Uh, good morning. Hi, good morning. Pati mo naman ang ating mga... Ang namang introduction na ginawa mo sa akin. Parang, uh, oo nga. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, thank you for being here. Yes. Thank you so much uh, sa pagising po ng umaga para uh, maturuan ang ating mga kasabahay. Yes. So, uh, pag-uusapan natin, Doktor, ang hypertension. Uh, ito po ba, dito sa Pilipinas ngayon, marami po ba ang patuloy pa rin nagkakaroon ng hypertension? Uh, marami sa mga kababayan natin pa rin ang hypertensive. No? Mm -hmm. o, ang blood pressure kasi na 140 over 90 and above. So, ito yung mga pasyente na uh, mad madalas pagkakaroon ng mga komplikasyon in the future kung hindi mm -hmm. nakokontrol yung mga blood pressure nila. Okay. So, basically, blood pressure is, uh, of mga 140 over 90 is considered already hypertension. Ang regular ba na, high, na blood pressure doctor is? Ang regular na, ang optimal na blood pressure is usually less than 120 over 80. Uh -huh. uh, tsaka yung normal is 120 over 129. Mm -hmm. uh, yung systolic, tapos yung diastolic naman 80. Tapos meron din tayong tinatawag na high normal na 130 over 139 ang systolic at saka yung diastolic is 85 to 89 millimeter mercury. Mm -hmm. uh, yan ang usual na dapat mga mm -hmm. blood pressure ng mga pasyente natin. So pag umangat na tayo sa 140, 140 over, over 90, 90, medyo consider na tayo ng hypertension at this point. Uh, Dok, narinig ko rin na yung 140, di ba yun yung daloy ng dugo? Yung pressure. Yung pressure. Yung 90. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng yan doctor? Yan yung diastolic pressure. Diastolic Kasi dalawa is... yun. Systolic okay. at saka diastolic pressure. Mm -hmm. Ano po yung diastolic, Dok? Yung ba yung uh, pagbalik ng dugo natin, pabalik sa ating mga puso? Yes po. Oh. Uh, yan yung pressure. So dapat hanggang ano lang siya? Hanggang uh, less than, dapat less than 90. Less than 90. Okay. At uh, paalamin na natin mga kasambahay, mm. ano? ano nga po ba ang uh, nagiging sanhi ng pagkakaroon po ng hypertension? Well, uh, 80 to 95 percent of cases ng hypertension uh, is unknown. Eh. So unknown. that's the reason why they're called essential hypertension. Uh, mga 5 to 15 percent, these are secondary type of hypertension. Mm -hmm. These are hypertension that can be treated. Pero uh, majority of these um, uh, patients, no, uh, to which our countrymen belong or 80 to 95 percent belong to the essential hypertension group. Which so, is... hindi natin alam kung ano yung cause ng kanyang hypertension. Could be genetic, uh -huh. could be environmental, hereditary, mga ganyan. No? Kaya pala, doctor, marami tayo nakikita ngayon ng mga payat naman. Yes, payat naman, eh, pero hypertensive. Meron ka namang nakikitang mataba, pero hindi, hindi naman, naman sila ganun ka mm -hmm. high blood. Meron namang bata pa, meron ng hypertension. Yes. Meron namang matandang-matanda na ganda pa ng BP nila, di ba? Oo. Uh -huh. Pero may mga kaso na sobrang bata naman, baka naman secondary type of hypertension, it belong naman to the 10 to, uh, 5 to 10% of the population naman. Okay, you mentioned, Doctor, yung environmental, hmm. genetic, ibig sabihin na mamana. Na mamana. So, 35, 30 to 50, 35 to 50% mm -hmm. na mga uh, pasyente natin na may essential hypertension, na mamana nila genetically mm -hmm. uh, from their parents. So okay. they have, they have uh, parents who are or siblings who are also hypertensive. Okay, yung environmental, doctor. Environmental, it's probably because of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, we eat a lot uh, these days, no? And then usually, yung mga kinakain natin are not very healthy. Yeah. We see a lot proliferation of mga 
mga junk foods mm-hmm. uh, we see a lot of uh, 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 parang uh, restaurants that are offering non-healthy food mm-hmm. and then lifestyle like hindi din nag-exercise ang mga tao mm-hmm. kasi tamad mm-hmm. nanonood lang ng TV mm-hmm. o kaya uh, mas computer mm-hmm. ang mga games ang ngayon games, daw eh. nababasketball naman sila Uh, paminsan-minsan. Hindi, lang. kaya lang naka-computerize, no, computerize. di ba? <laughs> so, masama rin yan. Kailangan talaga gumagalaw. Yes, doon. kailangan talaga gumagalaw ang lahat. Pwede bang maging uh, complication po ng ibang sakit yung pagkakaroon po ng hypertension? For example, diabetic ka po. Pwede bang mag-lead yan into hypertension yes, kung hindi actually, siya? Yes, actually, minsan kambal yung dalawang yan. Yung kambal. diabetes at hypertension. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung diabetes is another problem. It's on itself but it can spawn also hypertension if nagkakaroon ka na ng mga complications especially uh, kasi ang inaatake ng diabetes usually mga arteries na natin eh. and then yung mga arteries na yan nagsusupply din yan sa kidneys natin no? and then it can bring about uh, also a hypertension to the patient okay. Lagi na... yung endothelial dysfunction tawag namin okay. Lagi kasi nasisisi ang hypertension pag mainit ang ulo dok Totoo ba na um, nakakainit ng ulo pagkakaroon? May mga tao kasi na nag-i-increase yung mga catecholamines nila. Oo. Uh, dahil siguro, yung catecholamine is part of our body and system. Mm-hmm. Uh, na nag-i-increase talaga yung kapag sila lumalabas sa, sa katawan natin, mm-hmm. eh, nagbabasoconstrict ang mga arteries natin. Mm-hmm. So kapag persistent ka na ganyan, eh, syempre, Mainit. magiging hypertensive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh, paano naman po yung uh, sudden change of weather? Minsan kasi yes, pag masyadong mainit, weather, oo. Ang ah, cold mainit, weather, hindi masyado. Ay, hindi masyado. Eh. It's more more of the cold weather. Okay. Nagko-constrict kasi yung mga arteries natin. So, I think it's more of the cold weather mm-hmm. na mag, uh, mag-i-induce ng hypertension sa isang pasyente. Okay. Meron bang lifetime risk, doctor, yung na ma-develop yung hypertension, doc? Um, based on uh, hereditary at genetics, it would kung meron ka mga parents na uh, isa sa kanila ay hypertensive, you will have a risk of mga 30 to 50 per, 35 to 50 percent uh, to go into hypertension if one of your parents is, is okay. hypertensive. Okay, and before we talk about prevention and treatment, doctor, no? kasi maraming mm-hmm. mga kababayan natin, nalalaman na lang nilang hypertensive sila mm-hmm. pagka nagpapacheck up sa clinic ni kuya, yung mm-hmm. ganyan, nagpapa, mm-hmm. or minsan magpapabunot ng ipin. Mm-hmm. Uh, pagka po ba napapabayaan? Kasi meron din nagsasabi na pagka 140 sila, over 110 or over mm-hmm. 90, regular na sa akin yan. Eh, ka, okay na sa akin yan. Hindi ibig sabihin may sakit ako. Matindi mm-hmm. ba ang komplikasyon yan, doctor, pagka pinabayaan yung blood pressure nila na hindi monitored? Oo. Kasi ang isa sa mga nakikita namin is that most of the patients na hypertensive, maski gaano kataas ang blood pressure na nila, most of them are asymptomatic. Eh. Mm. Hindi nila alam na hypertensive sila. Uh, wala sila kasing mga uh, symptomas. Like pananakit with, ng bato, wala, pala yan. Oh, swerte yun kapag meron sila. Kasi yun. they would go to the doctor. Eh. That's right. Pero most of the time, makikita na lang namin, may mga complications na sila of hypertension mm. because asymptomatic sila. So all this time, lagi na mataas yung blood pressure nila, mm. hindi lang nila alam. Oo. Yeah, pero um, may mga cases naman na nagkakaroon sila ng headache, mm-hmm. yung uh, sakit sa batok, no? dizziness, or mga blurred vision, those mm-hmm. are also uh, some of the symptoms of hypertension. Okay, gano'n ba uh, dapat ka-frequent nagpapacheck ng ating blood pressure? Well, kung hindi ka naman uh, hypertensive o pre-hypertensive ka, Mm-mm. so pwede siguro mag- every two years every magpapacheck two years. ka. Pero kung hypertensive ka na, I think you should follow up with us. Already kung nasa stage 1 ka na na hypertension, Mm-mm. which is 140, 90, no? Na, uh, kailangan mo nang mag-follow up ng doctor uh, every year. Every year. Uh, Pero yung blood pressure, dapat ba every day, no? Ang blood, uh, yeah. Kung dapat, medyo no? high risk din yung pasyente. So, pwede rin tingnan yan every day. Para mamintay. Uh, kung may tumitingin sa kanya. Okay. Before we let you go, doctor, we need your uh, final message and uh, how to prevent hypertension. Well, it's still on lifestyle modification change. Okay. We don't usually go for chemicals like yung mga drugs kaagad. Mm-mm. We wanted our uh, population to be very healthy. Uh, and the first thing that we can do is to do lifestyle modification change. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung uh, stop smoking, no, lose weight if you're so obese or overweight, <laughs> and then reduce yung sodium intake natin. Oh, kasi most of the time, mm, no, most of the time, 
yung mga asking na yan ang nagkakos ng hypertension. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, follow a healthy diet like uh, more of vegetables, fruits, and low-fat dairy products. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, reduce, satur- uh, reduce also natin yung mga saturated fat mm-hmm. sa mga patients na uh, prone to hypertension. Uh-huh. And then, engage in regular aerobic uh, activities no? like brisk walking alone mm-hmm. for mga 30 minutes most days of the week is enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, limit alcohol intake and maintain adequate uh, dietary potassium, calcium, and magnesium. There you go. Okay, napakagaling. Thank you so much. Yes. We've learned so much. Yes. Ayan. Sana po mabawasan yeah. yung mga also. May hypertension nice dito sa Pilipinas. You. Nice to meet you. Uh, And we hope to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks again, Dr. Norberto O. Tuanyo Jr., isa pong magaling na internal medicine doctor at cardiology vascular specialist. Yan muna po ang ating uh, usapang pakalusugan. Back to you, Rina.